In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to host a React.js website on Hostinger. This is a great way to get your project live on the internet without too much hassle. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, these steps will guide you through the process smoothly. First, you'll need to navigate to the Hostinger website. Hostinger is an affordable and user-friendly web hosting service that makes it easy to bring your ideas to life. Once you are on the website, look for the Log In button, typically located at the top right corner of the page. Click on this to sign into your account. If you haven't created an account yet, go ahead and sign up. It's a quick and straightforward process. After logging in, you'll be taken to the Hostinger panel, often called HPanel. This is your central hub for managing your website services. When you reach this page, find and click on the Hosting tab. This section will display all the hosting services you have under your account. If you haven't purchased hosting yet, you will need to do that first. Next, locate your specific hosting plan and click on Manage. This will lead you to a variety of management options exclusive to your plan. From here, navigate to the section labeled Files. Clicking on Files will display different file management options essential for uploading your website's content and scripts. In the Files section, you should find an option called FTP Accounts. FTP or File Transfer Protocol is a commonly used standard network protocol to transfer files between a client and server. Click on this to manage or create FTP accounts necessary for transferring your website files. Within the FTP account section, look for the option to create a new FTP account. Creating an FTP account will require you to set up a username and password. Choose these credentials wisely as you'll need them to access and manage your website files securely. Remember. A strong password is key to keeping your site safe from unauthorized access. Once your new FTP account has been set up, use an FTP client like FileZilla to connect to your server using the credentials you've just established. From there, transfer your React.js build files onto your server. Make sure to place your files in the public HTML directory or its equivalent, as this is the directory served to the web by default. Now, with your files uploaded and in place, your React.js site should be live and accessible through your domain. Congratulations, you've successfully hosted your site on Hostinger. This is a significant milestone, so take a moment to explore your site to ensure everything works correctly. If needed, revisit any steps or consult Hostinger's support for more guidance. Thanks for watching and happy hosting.